It's the good. Oh shit. Good morning everyone. Yeah. Today I have planned to start my journey towards Chingiti, a very old city in Mauritania. It is supposed to be very beautiful. I have no clue yet how I get there because the official road is quite far, it's around 1000 kilometers, but it leads me to Nokshot first and then going back up. Some people said there might be a road just next to the iron train and I try to drive there. I hope this works out but I'm not sure yet so it totally depends on the road condition. I will figure that out on the way. Before that as I am here on a campsite in Nuadibu I will go for a shower and freshen myself up and then I will start the journey. So this one just has the squatting toilet and a little part where you have a shower and for the toilet you just also use the bucket, some water and your hand. I had a quick shower, I feel so much better now. The wonderful owner of the campsite here just gave me some instructions. We are here in Nuadibu and then we drive 120 kilometers, turn left and this track here goes kind of parallel to the train tracks over there. This one should be a lot better than driving just next to the train tracks as this is kind of off-roady and uh, not good for the car. I hope I can translate the sand map to real life but it will work out somehow so all right i'll pack together and then let's go Okay, I'm on my way, but before I finally start, I will visit someone I have met here on the street. Someone who makes t-shirts and pants at home. And I said I really want to see where he is working, because he's selling his stuff on the street, also for locals. That's where I am going now say hi, look what he's doing, maybe have a tea and then leave relatively in time. But it is Africa, so everything can happen. Like he said, where I come from, time kills people and here people kill the time. Let's see how far I will drive today. Welcome with my friend. Ben. This is Tala. Yeah, Tala. No Tala problem. makes this incredible artworks. You're welcome. So Tala, that's your artwork. Yeah, this is my own job. This is my own job. This, this, and the pants. And this is the family. You will see all the family do that. This is the picture wood and do with the sand. The glue of Arabic. They keep it the sand. The baobab. And different sand from different village. All sand you see is natural. The green also and the red. That's you will go to Terezit, all you will see different sand. Okay, well. Uh, only the blue, maybe we can make the water. Yeah. We to make change. Yeah. But all the rest, the red also is natural. Wow. The red is natural. The green you is so is natural. The list of the baobab. This is a lot of, from here you will see later. Yeah. And when you go to Singiti, you see five cent different of the Sahara. So and you sell it here on the street, but there are not many tourists right no, now, right? No, 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 it's not many tourists. It's a problem. We say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah is me take of God. 
<laughs> and Arabic is Alhamdulillah. Well, yeah, thank you so good. much, man. Thank you, you so much for showing me. But Ben, you good man. You are nice man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, because sometimes you see the white people touristic. If they don't know you, one day maybe they buy and go, but they don't have time to talk. Yeah. But here we kill the time, and you kill the time. Now you Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what I'm traveling for. I yeah, mean, yeah. I don't want to just see landscape. I want to meet people like good. you. Yeah, I want to meet. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. I want to see the culture and talk to people. It's good. That's and why traveling alone is better than travel in the group. Yeah. When it's the group, you don't have no time. Yes. To talk. Yes. Absolutely. You don't have no time to see the house, yeah. the local people. Yeah. yeah. Like this, I just do whatever I feel like, and if this takes more time now, then it's yeah. totally okay. It's, you see. You that's see. the wonderful thing about traveling alone. Yeah. Thank you so much, my man. You're welcome, Thank you, man. You're welcome. I'm happy for you. It's the next day. I have spent the whole day yesterday with Tala, which was very wonderful. It was a great experience. He showed me his home, he showed me his family and also his friends. It was just a great experience. We were sitting on the market, they had their booth where they sell secondhand shoes. So many wonderful people. We were sitting together, having coffee, having a chat and a laugh, although I didn't understand a word. It was very, very nice. It was a really good experience and I'm very glad that I did that. Now I will buy some bread, some fresh bread and then I am off finally to Singiti. check where to go because I do not really find the entrance to that gravel road but maybe I, I missed it already I think it's actually quite hard to find something on the map because it's not very detailed if you zoom in and um, especially with the sand if it's just a little bit of a bad resolution you cannot make out whether it's a, a tire track or something else. So this here is a train track. I am here right now. And sometimes you can see like tire tracks. Like here for example but they're barely visible. I have decided to not take the off-road track. It just looks too complicated. And even if I would make it for, I don't know, 100 kilometers and then get stuck somewhere, it's not worth it. So I will drive the normal track. It will take a lot of time, but it's okay. It's better than getting in trouble in the end. It is so bright here and I'm, it is so warm. I'm wearing all white and it's still hot. I have found a spot to drive into the desert and maybe, but just maybe, this is the way to go to Shingiti. Wish me luck, I'll try it. And um, let's see what's happening. I will deflate the tires quickly. Let's go into the desert!
It's a good. Oh stuff. Oh shit. A real nightmare happened. Due to the vibrations, my water connection, or actually not the connection, the connection is good, but the whole, uh, the whole thing itself came apart and I think it broke, otherwise it wouldn't look like that. Of course on top I forgot to turn the pump off before leaving and that means 50 liters of water have been in here and um, that's why I parked that way there's water everywhere luckily nothing is on the floor which is important or which can break it just got wet but the worst nightmare is something else And that's totally my fault. Before I parked here, I wanted to take a picture and a little video of this area here. I had this camera out and I left it in the back of my car and it fell into the water. And now it doesn't work anymore. I hope no, it doesn't look good. <sighs> Luckily I have 40 liters here and 20 liters in the front. So I have enough water. But the camera... That's shit. That's proper shit. Somebody's coming. Okay, that was nice that they have stopped and asked if everything is okay. I have to fix my water problem now. Not that I ha I still have enough water, luckily. I mean, I have l I have lost 50 liters of water, almost 50 liters of water, but I still have 60 liters with me. Do I go back? Do I try or do I not try? Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's a new challenge. I love it. Oh, shit. The only thing is my camera. It hurts. I hope it will. I hope it will get back to life. I hope so. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm very tired. <sighs> I'm thinking thinking mode. I go back to the street. Uh, I go back to the street. It doesn't make sense. And then I have to rest because I can, you know, see my eyes. I can see it in my eyes that I had too much sun. And um, I look tired. I go back until I have reception again and then I have a rest for today and um, yeah see what I can organize for tomorrow
quite nice here but it's very windy and a little bit sandy but it's so cool here spontaneously decided to stop before reaching the road. The location here is so beautiful. I think it gives me a little peace after this crazy day today. Unplanned and not very effective. Ending up where I have started, kind of. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in again into my craziness. Even though I don't do it for subscriptions or likes. Every support is wonderful. Every every subscription feels good. Thank you very much for that and see you in the next video. Everything is wet. Shit happens, that's okay. It's just a matter of how to deal with it. Now I know there is a weakness in the water system and I can't fix it properly. 